We had all kinds of performers in that show. We had the Daggett. Inside that suit was a three-year-old chimpanzee minky named Eve. Evie was like a two-year-old child. She was brilliant, and, and she would just do anything and, and was loving. We were best friends. We were always together. That chimp could hit its marks better than anybody else. Uh, if there was a specific stunt that had to take place, as the trainers knew about it three or four days in advance, they would work on it with the chimp every minute that he was not actually being photographed. As long as we didn't have more than one or two of those a day, he did damn well. Evie, chin up. Up, up. Hey, right here. Oh, I do remember the times when that chimp just decided he wasn't going to work at all inside that suit. Come here. Come here. I always thought Evie should have got the Academy Award for animals, whatever they have, because it was, and it was miserable in there. She would pop the head off and get tired. It would get hot in there. And we'd all, it would be the end of the day, and we were all tired and wanted to go home, and we'd all go, oh, my God. Zap, zap. Come on, Muffet. Muffet, come on. Here. Evie, here, let's go, come on. How do you make him work? You know, you can take his ears and you can get little robot control things and you can make his ears move, you know, but how do you make him move? Let's go. Come on. Evie, get up. And we lost more time on the set because of that doggone monkey. He had to go through some ducting, room to room. Come here. Here, hold it, hold it, sit, sit. Hold it. Oh, right. Get it. And this might have been the first or second time we had, had him in there. We got the camera all set and we put the monkey in there and closed the door at the last minute. So I said, okay, open the door. And there was nothing there but the head. He didn't want to deal with this. He just said, that's it, I'm sorry. This wasn't part of his contract, you know, so. <laughs> There's a, a scene where we're on the planet with the Oveons. Everyone runs by at full tilt and this thing is just kind of strolling across the bridge. And they set off these charges behind it. He zips across the bridge full tilt and goes up into the rafters. Production would have to stop for about three hours while we tried to coax them back down. <laughs> he was pretty good, actually. He had a bite of Cylon's foot, and of course the Cylon then keeled over dead. He did a marvelous job of biting. That was probably the most difficult thing, was to get him to, to bite this rather than bite somebody else's leg. It's kind of hard to have a scene between, let's say, the two of us and the Daggett's supposed to be there, and you got these monkey sounds coming out of the helmet. And you would hear them. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you a story like you did when I was in sick bed? Oh, that would be nice. God, sorry, I thought something was wrong. Boonair is a big Hollywood trainer. I would go out to the ranch where they would keep all the animals and, and spend the weekends, and his son and I were real close. Boone was wonderful with animals, even Evie when she was out of control. I got bit once. I was holding Eve, and, and uh, she wasn't feeling good, evidently. And I kept thinking she was just slipping, and she was actually trying to get to Boone, and I wouldn't let her down, and she took a chomp out of me. And that hurt, I got to tell you. You heard me scream down the next county. It scared me to death. After that, everything was OK. She would just went a little cuckoo one day. She'd have her bad days. The trainer would be there. And this was one smart monkey, and knew what it was supposed to do. I said, OK, Evie, come. Evie, Evie. And Evie wouldn't do it. Evie would just sit down like that. And time was money, and the directors were like, get, we gotta, we gotta get it, would you get it? So the trainer would take the Daggett head off, so you'd see Evie. <laughs> Evie. <laughs> put the head on, put him out there, okay, Evie, come. Evie would come. Eve, right here. Come here, get under there. Right here. Good, good. Got it. She, she was like my best friend on the set. You know, we'd walk around the sound studios hand in hand, and we would have our birthday cakes together, and we were like mates, you know? We were tight. How many six-year-olds get to have a, a chimpanzee as a best friend? You know, we were inseparable. Give him a big hug, dog. Give him a big hug. Oh, big hug.